This video is a quick overview of some of the main features contained in the upcoming release of Deadline 6. One of the big things that we did for version 6 was to completely redesign the user interface using PyQt. On top of being more responsive and providing a more consistent cross-platform experience, PyQt has allowed us to make the interface a lot more dynamic. For example, you can tear off or move any of these panels around to achieve a layout that matches your workflow. We've also implemented a better filtering system on all of our data panels, which now allow you to filter on arbitrary columns with values that you specify. If one set of filters isn't enough, you can clone your current view and add additional filters to either drill down even more or just to show different data. Alternatively, you can switch one of the cloned panels to our new graph view which allows you to see the health of the farm at a glance. Once you have everything laid out the way you want it, you can save your layout for future use, allowing you to share it with other artists or simply switch between different ones quickly. Another new feature we've introduced with Six is the ability to remotely stream a slave's output log. This, of course, allows you to diagnose problems with slaves remotely without having to dig through log folders on a remote machine. And finally, we've added a cloud control panel, which allows you to start, stop, and clone cloud machines. Once you've set up a machine image with your cloud provider, this new feature can make it really easy to grow your farm quickly when needed. Now you can see that the cloud slaves we spun up are popping up in our slave list and are showing some activity. And you may have already noticed this previously, but this also demonstrates our new live updating UI. You no longer have to click the refresh button to have the latest data. This, along with a lot of other features, was all made possible by the new database backend that we're introducing in Deadline 6. While there's still more to see, and definitely more to come, that actually concludes our brief feature overview of Deadline 6.